and Justin here. Today we are checking out Vultures by John Mayer. Massively requested tune, this one. Man, and it is so much fun to play. It's like, it's not too difficult, the actual main riff part, but you've really got to concentrate on locking into the groove and making it feel real good. You know, you want that kind of funny face like somebody just wiped a dog poo under your nose. You're kind of like, you know, wants to really feel groovy and locked in, you know. Um so I'm going to take you through the main riff. I'll talk a little bit about the second guitar part. That's uh, that there's like a little overdub part, which I think adds quite a lot in the in the context. And I'm going to take you through the solos because both the solos have got some really clever, interesting little things going on in them as well. So uh, let's start off with the main riff. <laughs> Looking at it on the most basic level, first finger is playing the 14th fret, strings 4 and 5. Third finger is playing the same strings, 4 and 5, at the 16th fret, 2 frets higher. Then we've got this other little dyad, first finger in the 13th fret, 3rd string, 2nd finger, 14th fret of the 4th string. So on the most basic level... kind of what's going on. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, or three, and four. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four. But it's all of this other stuff, particularly as is a classic Mayer thing, it's the way that he's using this hand to play it. Now, this is my best guess. I've put quite a lot of time and effort into trying to figure it out, and I'm Fairly sure I got it. I've watched a bunch of videos. I don't think there's any other way that he could be doing it. But I, you know, it is a best guess. So I think the first notes are played with the first and second fingers. So just like a little up pick with first and second fingers to start off with. Then you've got a little hit with the first and second fingers together, just playing the 16th fret. It's just got to play those notes, not the additional ones. And then thumb is playing the 16th fret on the 5th string. One, two, and three. Now this is back with fingers. One, two, and three, four. And there's, so this is a little down strum again. And then there is a little, sometimes there's a ghost, sometimes there's not. It is different all of the way through. So if you watch John playing it live, you'll hear he does tons of variations. But even on the record, there's lots of little subtle changes throughout. So I'm kind of giving you my a generic kind of one that should work one, fingers hit click or with a thumb fingers click thumb and then it's like a little muted thing fingers hit again fingers hit thumb you know, it's quite a nice pattern. It should feel really easy. It's almost like, feels like strumming. That's the main riff for most part of the song. There's these little variations at the end of each verse, each chorus section rather, uh, which is a little tricky. It's not. It's not difficult. We just have this. It goes. Um, just 
just has this little bit where it repeats r right at the end, the, the last couple of bars. Again, you'll, you'll hear it if you listen to the original recording. Uh, so we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. That's just a, this little subtle variation of the you know, watching you, watching you. That little line there with the vocal is where that little fill comes in. So, If you listen to the song a few times, you'll soon hear that little variation there. It doesn't happen very often, but the riff continues through the solos, through the keyboard solo, all of that sort of stuff. It doesn't do the variation in the keyboard solo. That's one thing just to be aware of there. The other rhythm part, which I think is worth a little look, is this kind of, it's a fairly simple kind of funk thing going on. Uh, I think it's the first finger on the second fret of the fourth string, the note E. Uh, and then we're just doing a little picking pattern one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and then it goes up a tone again back to the E one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a I mean it's a real subtle small little overdub not the what wouldn't be the main part you play in it if you're playing it in a small band setting that's for certain but it really i think it adds a nice little lift in that part of the song so uh that's one just to check out again have a listen to the original recording there's a whole bunch of these really high atmospheric kind of very high notes maybe a slide maybe they're just big bends with a lot of reverb um i haven't gone through and worked all of those out but if you wanted to check those out if you're a massive john mayer fan they would be something that might be worth a little look as well uh but now let's move on and have a look at solos First solo. I think it's played with the fingers, but it could be with the pick as well. 16th fret on the 5th string. Then 14th fret on the 4th string, 16th fret. 14th fret on the 3rd string. Noting that it starts on beat 3, so it's 1, 2, 3 and 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4, and 1, and 2, 3, 4, and... Here's that second time through. Took out these little hammer-ons from 14th to the 16th. And then 16, 14, flick off on the 4th string, and back to the root note, the 16th fret of the 4th string. So, one, two, three, and four, and two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, four, and so, I think the last note's picked. Really cool solo, but not a whole lot of meat in it. It's pentatonic -y, trying to get the right touch of all of it, and that sort of stuff is never as easy as it might first appear, so a new guitar player should be able to get the notes down pretty quickly, but trying to get the right inflections and the nice vibrato and all of those kind of things will probably take a little time. The second solo, though, has got a bit more meat in it, a few more very cool things to check out. So the second solo is this. so much good stuff here so lovely lick so third finger 16th fret on the third string tone bend then first finger tone bend love that then 16th twice on the fourth string 14th fret on this on the third string and then back to two picks on the 16th fret of the fourth string one two Three, four, and a one, and two, and three, and 
little bend, 16th fret with a release and then back up again. One, two, three, four. Now this is probably my favorite lick in the whole thing. Tone bend with the first finger, 14th fret on the third string. Then the root note, 16th fret on the fourth string. Then back to the first finger but without the bend. Feeling a lot of Albert King in this stop solo, really. One. More bends. So 16th fret, three bends. Then 14th. And then 17th fret. Now, to get those notes fast enough, I think it's going to have to be thumb, first finger, thumb. But, I mean, he might even be using a pick. It just sounds to me like fingers, and it appears live he's doing fingers as well. So that would be my best guess. So thumb, first finger, thumb. 14, four, 14, 14, 17. Definitely a little finger with a 17th fret, so, so you can get that nice bend there with the 16th fret. Tone bend release, 14, 16, 16. Then this is a little, pretty sure it's muted, muted with the thumb and the first finger. And then the third finger is giving it a good pull. And finishes 16. Tone bend, release, 14, 16, 16. So the whole slow, solo, the whole slow low that's playing the solo slowly is a slow low. There we go. Three, four, one. great solo. I really hope you have a lot of fun with this tune and the backing track that there'll be a link available in the description there for you. Me and Dave and Johnny had a load of fun doing this tune and we're planning on doing more of this sort of stuff. So if you like the idea of a lesson along with a back and track, that kind of thing, then let me know in the comments. I much appreciate your support as well. If you hit that subscribe and like button, if you haven't already. Uh, lots more of this fun stuff coming up. So hopefully I'll see you for that very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.